Hey guys, Luca here with another PvE build, this time with my Stamina Templar. Like I promised, without any jabs. I used a 2H dual setup with Wrecking Blow as spammable. I managed to get almost 100k, not even 100 DPS is missing. The question is, is it worth to play without jabs? I would say yes, if you have issues to weave jabs perfectly, if you have performance issues like FPS drops, high ping, then definitely yes. If not, jabs as a spammable is definitely stronger than Wrecking Blow. I've tested the bow bow setup too, with the Black Horse Prison Bow and the Mansion Bow. If you want to see that pass or that build, type it in the comment section below. I would upload an extra video about it. Without further ado, let's start with the rotation explanation. The rotation is quite simple. Keep up your dots, use Wrecking Blow in between as spammable until 31% then drop it for Executioner. It's very important that you always slide attack in between each skill. Don't forget that guys. Start with the ultimate shooting star, step closer, use Daddy Cloak, then Barb Trap, Ritual of Retribution, Rending Slashes, Bar Swap, use Power of the Light. Stampede and Blazing Spears into Wrecking Blow. Use Wrecking Blow until your dots expire and then reapply your dots. Try to avoid to bar swap with Wrecking Blow and Stampede. It's always more difficult to bar swap with a channel ability. Keep this rotation up until 31%, then you drop Randing Slashes and Wrecking Blow. Use Execution instead as spammable. Keep all your other dots up until the end. I hope the rotation is clear, if not, don't be shy to ask. Now have fun with the pass, I'll discuss the build after with you.
Here we go with the build, 5 Reliquent on the body, which deals more or less 7k DPS, 1 Slime Core for extra crit, you could use Krax for extra pen or Balor Kina for extra weapon damage instead. Then the new mythic item, Harpooner's Waiting Kilt, which gives us 10% more crit damage and over 5% more crit with 10 stacks. On the jewelry, advancing Yokida, full but thirsty, with a 2H mall imprecise with a flame damage enchant. If you have enough penetration, the cap is over 18k by the way, then you should use a battle axe or a great sword instead. On the back bar, two black or prison daggers, both infused with a berserker and a poison damage glyph. Let's take a quick look on the skills, front bar with executioner, which we use at 31%. Power of the Light, a strong burst dot, keep it always up every 6 seconds, Wrecking Blow as spammable, then Blazing Spears to proc Burning Light and 10% extra crit damage just slotted. Since we don't have jabs on this build, we need them, it needs over 5k damage in total with this uh, passive Burning Light. Stampede a strong dot now and Dawnbreaker for extra weapon damage. On the back bar, Randic Slashes, Daddy Cloak to proc the 6% more damage thanks to the Black Ghost Prison Daggers. It deals a good amount of damage too and gives Mage Evasion. Barb Trap for Minor Force. Ritual of Retribution, pretty damn strong for a magic ability, it deals over 5k DPS. Blazing Spears, just slotted for the extra 10% crit damage. And his ultimate Shooting Star which deals 7k total DPS with the burning status effect. Of course I'm Dhamma, what the hells, we definitely need the extra magicka for ritual and spears. Khajiit should be fine too, if you can sustain the magic abilities. And Orc deals 2 or 3k less DPS. As Mundus the Thief for extra crit. And the Lava Foot Swoop with stamina and extra stamina region. With no sustain issues, we could use the green max stamina food, which gives even more stamina. Potions the same like always, with stamina, major savagery and major brutality. Quick look on the CPs, the blue ones are Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, Deadly Aim and the new one Mastered Arms, which gives 10% extra direct damage. If you can't flank the enemy, use Tarmotouch instead of Backstabber. Red CPs, Rejuvenation for extra sustain, Boundless Vitality for more HP, Slippery to CC break automatically, and Ironclad for extra armor. For the new trial, you could use Spirit Mastery to resurrect faster. That's the end of the Stampler PvE build without jabs. If you enjoy my PvE and PvP content, sub my channel. Let us grow together. The next PvE build will be probably a Magicka Necromancer, so stay tuned for all Magicka PvE builds next. Thanks for watching and the support, I hope everyone is fine and healthy, I wish you a nice day, see ya in the next video, ciao.